Batwoman, portrayed by Ruby Rose, just appeared in the 2018 CW crossover event Elseworlds. As of this recording, casting has begun for her solo series. Production on that show is planned to start in 2019, and casting has begun for the six main characters that will join Ruby Rose, and those are Joseph, Alexis, Stolen Land, and Meredith, and Charlotte. The Batwoman series, should it be ordered to series, would air in the 2019 to 2020 TV season, so it's a perfect time to bolster our comic book knowledge of Batwoman. Before we begin though, let me thank you for watching JLS Comics and pressing play. If you like videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button and if you want, the subscribe button as well. I upload new comic book and superhero content weekly. Okay, with that out of the way, let's jump into our Batwoman story. Kate Kane first appeared in 2006 in 52 week 7, finally donning the Batwoman suit in issue 11. But wait, that's 12 years ago. Isn't it 2018? So how do we explain this? Hang on, let's rewind. The first Batwoman was actually named Kathy Kane. She was created by Ed Hamilton and one of Bob Kane's ghost artists, Sheldon Moldoff. As Batwoman's cast was steadily growing, DC editor Jack Schiff realized Batman needed a female counterpart and so Kathy was introduced in 1956, primarily to serve as a love interest to Batman. I frequently reference this in my history videos and today is no exception. Dr. Frederick Wortham's McCarthyism style assault on comic books pinnacled in 1954 with the seduction of the innocent Senate hearings. One of the primary pieces of evidence entered into that hearing was evidence regarding Batman and his alleged homosexual relationship with Rob. Robin. Public outrage reached hysteria levels with book burnings and being celebrated all across North America. So the folks at DC, knowing how untrue the allegations were, needed something or maybe someone to alter the public's perception of the Dark Knight. And thus the idea for a female love interest for old Bruce Wayne was born. This also came from the knowledge of the popularity of the Superman family as well. To emphasize her femininity, she was always depicted with a purse and even when fighting she had her purse with her. And I guess that's fine. I mean, where else could you store your lipstick arsenal? Her insertion next to Bruce is ironic considering the post-Infinite Crisis version of Batwoman and we'll get to that in a moment. Who was this Kathy Kane? Kathy, similar to the Flying Graysons, hailed from a circus. But wait, 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 wait. We, get, we gotta back up even further. Kathy Kane was born as Kathy Webb. She was a spy who married a wealthy businessman named Nathan Kane. It was Nathan, her husband, who gave her the circus as a gift for no other reason than she wanted one. Shortly after her husband died, she would uh, see and read of Batman's exploits around Gotham and became infatuated with the crime fighter. So much so that she converted her lipstick to a weapon and donned a Bat-themed costume, all in an attempt to get close to Batman. After a brief stint as a costume crime fighter, she returned to the circus. She disappeared disappeared from the pages in 1964 until the League of Assassins showed up, aware of her past connection with Batman and tragically killed her. And then the Crisis on Infinite Earth event erased Kathy from existing completely because as Denny O'Neill said, we already had a Batgirl, we don't need a Batwoman. During her absence from mainline comics, Batwoman appeared in 2003's animated Batman Mystery of the Batwoman, only her name here was Kathy Duquesne. Get it? There's still Kane in the name. And then you have Bombshells, Earth 11, Earth 22, and Justice, Post Flash, Flint. Batwoman, so there's a lot, but let's not make it too confusing. We're here to talk about the version that Ruby Rose portrays, and that is Catherine Kate Kane. Grew up in a military family. As such, the family often traveled following Colonel Kane's deployments and relocations. Her story really begins, however, in Brussels, Belgium, when she and her mother, who is now working for NATO, were kidnapped by terrorists. Her father's tactical unit was able to rescue Kate, but tragically both her mother and her twin sister were killed by terrorists and this traumatized her and set forward a, a momentum of her wanting to right these wrongs. From here, Kate went to West Point. She joined Air Assault, Airborne School. She graduated from those. It's also here that Kate had her first lesbian relationship with fellow cadet Captain Sophie Moore. Unfortunately, policy at the time dictated that she'd be discharged from service. And this was big news. It hit the news circuits outside of the comic industry, like USA Today. CNN reported on it. Anyway, this discharge hit Kate hard. And she covered this as many lost people do by drinking and partying. And one night, she was pulled over by Officer Renee Montoya. Instead of getting a ticket, she got a girlfriend. Batman rescued her one night and she then uh, knew she wanted to be a costume crime fighter as well. She had her family's wealth and her dad's military resources to build her arsenal. She became the Batwoman after Batman went missing and was presumed dead. In fact, a whole slew of Bat people stepped forward to help and Batman Incorporated. Uh, Grant Morrison's fourth issue of Batman Inc. depict the first proper meeting between Bruce Wayne's Batman and Kate Kane's Batwoman. As well as the return of Kathy Kane, the original Batwoman, who, as we know, been missing for years. Batman met Kane in her civilian identity in a story known as Batman 
elegy and a disguised Batman investigated Batwoman in a Zero issue called Batman number zero. He even allowed her to beat him up in that issue. For a brief time, Kate took over Detective Comics issue 854 was a particularly momentous issue as it taught us she's cousins with Flamebird, Betty Kane, as well as introducing us to Elizabeth Kane, a villain with the name Alice. Spurred on by the popularity of 2010's Batwoman Elegy, J.H. Williams, writer of the New 52 Batwoman series, had been already penning his series well before the launch of the New 52 and decided to just roll with the story, making Batwoman one of the very, very few characters to roll over to New 52 from the previous era without massive changes. Issue 17 was also a milestone as it featured Kate proposing to her girlfriend, Maggie Sawyer. In 2013, DC wouldn't let the gay marriage story unfold, and so the entire creative team of the book left. It was canceled that March, but it did hit around 40 issues. She's since been an ongoing character in Detective Comics and part of the DC Comics rebirth, and she's enjoyed ongoing popularity since then, leading up to, of course, her recent appearance in DC CW's Elseworld TV event. And that, my friends, is Batwoman. Did I miss something you feel is important? Have questions or an idea for a future history video? Let me know in the comments or tweet me at ComicsJLS and I'll add it to the list. As always, thank Thank you for watching, subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.